हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी विल सी द न्यूटन रैप्सन मेथड व्हिच इज अनदर मेथड टू फाइंड अप्रोक्सिमेट अप्रोक्सिमेट रूट ऑफ एनी ट्रांसकेंडरल इक्वेशन और अल्जेब्राइक इक्वेशन सो न्यूटन रैप्सन मेथड आल्सो नोन एज मेथड ऑफ व्हाट टेंजेंट सो फॉर दिस मेथड वी विल कंसीडर एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो एंड इन न्यूटन रैप्सन मेथड वी हैव टू टेक एनी एक्स जीरो एज अ इनिशियल अप्रोक्सीमेशन or initial root of the equation number 1 now we will take x1 as x0 plus h now where uh, from where this h comes we will take h is very small which is either positive or negative such that the difference between x0 and x1 is less okay so we will take h uh, choice of h is very small such that x1 is x1 is almost equal to x0 okay after this we will find f of x1 f of x1 what is x1 x1 is x0 plus h so f of x0 plus h we will take as it is equal to 0 so as we know in our calculus taylor series expansion of the function f of x1 we have f of x0 plus h times f dash of x0 plus h square upon 2 factorial f double dash at x0 plus continuing like this and the continuing like the full equation equal to 0 now uh, we will take higher power of h and neglecting uh, higher uh, derivatives are what zero so the after squaring term and second derivative term we will take all these term as equal to what zero so neglecting the neglecting h square term and higher powers of h we get f of x plus h times f dash of x0 is equal to 0 with this equation we will find root as h and that h will be evaluated as what minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0 provided this condition has to be hold f dash of x0 is not equal to 0 so here what is x1 x1 is x0 plus h now using taylor series expansion and neglecting the higher powers of h and with h square we will substitute value of h we recently obtain in our x1 so our x1 will reduce us to what x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0 so this is our first approximation to the root using what newton raphson method now note note x1 is obtained from equation number 2 okay is suppose if this is not is uh, not root of equation number 1 but it is better approximation of x than x0 so why this happen because the value of h is not exact it is an what approximate value hence we doesn't get exact root over here we get what approx better approximation in every iteration similarly now we have a x1 very first we have 1 point x0 using this x0 and we will take any h and using taylor series expansion we will find x1 after finding x1 we will starting with x1 and we will obtain the next approximation as x2 and this x2 is evaluated by using again what x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1 and continuing like this so in general our newton raphson formula is x n plus 1 minus x n plus 1 equal to what x n minus f of x n divided by f dash of x n again here the condition has to be hold which is provided that what is the denominator f dash of x n has to be what non zero so this is known as newton raphson iteration formula so this is our newton raphson method we will see one example how to find approximate root of the equation using newton raphson method so taking an example find the root of the equation x cube minus 2x minus 5 equal to 0 
करेक्ट अप टू फोर डेसिमल प्लेसेस बाय यूजिंग न्यूटन रैपसन और मेथड ऑफ टेंट सो वी विल गो विद द सोल्यूशन सो वेरी फर्स्ट राइट डाउन वट इज गिवन टू यू गिवन थिंग इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस टू एक्स माइनस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो हियर एफ ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स क्यूब माइनस टू एक्स माइनस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इन न्यूटन रेपन मेथड वी वी नीड द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द रिस्पेक्टेड एफ ऑफ एक्स गिवन टू अस सो ओवर हियर वी विल साइमल्टेनियसली फाइंड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द फंक्शन सो एक्स क्यूब माइनस टू एक्स माइनस फाइव हैज डेरिवेटिव हाउ मच थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस टू ओके नाउ फॉर द इनिशियल अप्रोक्सीमेशन फॉर इनिशियल अप्रोक्सीमेशन वेरी फर्स्ट रैंडमली वी विल फाइंड एफ ऑफ टू इफ आई फाइंड एफ ऑफ टू आई हैव एट माइनस फोर माइनस फाइव इट इज माइनस वन एंड साइमल्टेनियसली फाइंड एफ डैश ऑफ टू If I find f dash of two, I have ten. Take again randomly as three. Find f of three. If I find f of three, I have sixteen. Simultaneously find f dash of f of three. So if I find f dash of f of three, I have what? Twenty five. So among these, if this is sixteen and this is ten, if this is twenty five, this is minus one and ten. Let take any one of these as a initial root. So we will take a equal to x not as a two be the initial approximation to the root. to the root by newton raphson method we will write down the general formula f of xn plus 1 is equal to what xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn provided with the condition what the denominator term f dash of x n is not equal to 0 so first iteration in first iteration we will find x1 so when n equal to 0 the above general formula reduces to x1 is equal to x0 minus f of x0 divided by f dash of x0 so x1 is equal to as x0 is 2 minus f of x0 that is f of 2 so this is formula is 2 minus f of 2 f dash of 2 now over here we had find f of 2 as minus 1 and f dash of 2 as what 10 so we'll substitute over here so this will be 2.1 this will be what 2.1 next find f of x1 so if i put x1 equal to 2.5 in given f of x i have f of x1 is equal to 0.061 next find f dash of x1 so in the derivative of f of x that is 3x square minus 2. We will substitute x as what? 2.1. So I have 11.23. So this is our first iteration of Newton-Raphson method. Now using this x1, we will find the second approx better approximation of root in our second approximation. So when I put n equal to 1 in our general formula, I have x2 is equal to x1 
माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स वन डिवाइडेड बाय एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स वन इज रिसेंटली इवेल्युएटेड एज टू पॉइंट वन माइनस एफ ऑफ एक्स वन वी कैलकुलेटेड एज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स वन एंड एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स वन इज इलेवन पॉइंट टू थ्री आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस आई हैव इट इज जीरो पॉइंट सॉरी टू पॉइंट जीरो नाइन फोर सिक्स सो आई हैव एक्स टू आफ्टर दिस आई विल फाइंड एफ ऑफ एक्स टू नाउ इफ आई सब्सटीट्यूड एक्स टू इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट जीरो नाइन फोर सिक्स इन एफ ऑफ एक्स आई हैव एफ ऑफ एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 फोर एंड एफ डैश ऑफ एक्स टू इलेवन पॉइंट वन सिक्स टू नाउ यूजिंग दिस एक्स टू वी विल फाइंड थर्ड अप्रॉक्सीमेशन इन अवर थर्ड आइट्रेशन ओके सो put n equal to 2 over here so i have x3 is equal to what f of x2 is x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x1 divided by f dash of x1 substituting the values substituting substituting the values of f of x2 uh, x2 f of x2 and f dash of x2 is 2.0946 minus 0.005 divided by 11.162 so calculating this i have x3 is equal to 9.43 now you will check f of x2 is what Zero two point zero nine four six, and we have x three is also zero point two point zero nine four six. Both are matching, so we will stop over here. Okay, so we will have the root up to correct up to how many decimal places? Four decimal places, and four decimal places are matching. Therefore, two point nine zero four six is what. Approximate root of f of x equal to x cube minus two x minus five. We will take example for your homework. Using Newton-Raphson method. find the root of equation x log of x to the base 10 is equal to 1.2 correct to four decimal places i hope all of you understand how to find approximate root of the any algebraic or transcendental equation using newton raphson method thank you everyone